Hello everyone, I am 3F John, and let me begin today by asking you a question. Have you ever wanted to just give up your day job, go out, start a cult, and summon a great old one from the sea? Well, if you have, this is the game for you. The Shrouded Isle, with the Sunken Sins DLC. So today, we're going to play through this. Um... It kind of explains the story here when we go through the beginning. I haven't actually played this game. Um, I did a little sound check with it, and that was it. So this is going to be new for me. But um, let's go ahead and take our place as the high priest and bring about our great old god. Four hundred ninety-five years ago, our founder saw that humanity would perish except the worthy. Our Lord will return in glory to reward the faithful. Yet there are sinners in our community. As high priest, I must select a sinner to sacrifice every season. Five years until Judgment Day. If we are free from sin, he will save us from this suffering. So yeah, that's basically the story of the game. Um, we're the high priest of our little cult on our little island here. Uh, there are five different families. We pick an advisor from each family. Each family has a different job. So like the Kegney family, their job is to maintain ignorance. Destroy forbidden records to erase sinful past. You know, it says what it's improved by. It says what it's hindered by. Uh, we got the Yusefka family, who their job is fervor. Show our devotion through tireless labor. We have the Cadwell family, who deals with discipline. The Effersons, who deal with penitence. And the Blackborns, who deal with obedience. So we run our little cult. And the abandoned tower long ago, madmen were confined here for their betterment. Yeah, sorry. Anyways, we run our little cult, and we have to balance the family happiness with getting what needs to be done as far as ignorance, fervor, discipline, and penitence, obedience goes. We have to also make sure the families stay with us and in our cult. And we have to balance all of that with what our old elder god wants. I'm not sure if he's like an, an outer god or if he's a, 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 you know, a great old one or whatnot. This game is inspired by Lovecraft. I don't think it, you know, it tr takes directly from it. But, who knows, we'll find out. Like I said, I, I, I bought this maybe 10 minutes ago. Um, it came out, you know, I think last year. But let's begin. A letter has arrived. New disease. Your Excellency, Michael Blackborn has not been able to leave his bed. He complains of a great weight pressing down and difficulty breathing. How should House Blackborn be worried the disease may spread? Um, I can either assist them in prayer, in which fer fervor will suffer... Or I can upset the family by saying Myko is faking it in this this ailment and it must be whipped. Um, our fervor is looking pretty good, so let's see how bad it suffers. After several prayer ceremonies, Myko seems to feel better enough to return to work, but later, many complain of a great weight. Ugh, fucking course they did. <sighs> is it a cult or a fucking children's playground? So fervor minus 15, house blackborn approval plus 10. Alright, so let's go ahead and start picking our advisors. Did you bring a book to burn, Your Excellency? So this is House Kegney, and their responsibility is maintaining the ignorance of the people in the cult. So we can begin an inquiry. I don't know what confinement is. We can rename villagers, I'm not going to worry about that right now. And then we appoint an advisor out of one of these people. Um, so at the top here, you see the arrow up and then penitent. That means that, um, this person gets a bonus to penitence, but then whatever this is, is their vice or what they take away from. So bonus penalty, bonus penalty. And the point is to find out how big their bonuses are and how big their penalties are. If my understanding of this game is at all correct. So let's begin an inquiry. Who would we like to know about? Um, let's check on the penitent one. 
Ladilas Kegney. Inquire about virtue. Inquire about vice. Um, let's inquire about his vices. He might be disobedient. Some of the rules are so confusing. The family didn't like that very much, but it's okay. Let's inquire about his virtue or his vice. This will hurt the family. Um, he's honest. You may kill me should I lie to you. Good. I think you'd make a good advisor. So we've got that advisor. Um, the Kegney own the farmlands providing sustenance to the village and host book burnings. Let's go to Yusefka. This is the family that deals with fervor. Let's begin an inquiry into this one. Hannah Yusefka. She's full of fervor. Let's find out what her... V Ooh, um, I don't know where I stand with the family. It says satisfied, neutral, satisfied, zealous. Um, let's find out what her vice is. She's violent. Ooh. She does have a bit of a temper sometimes. Fair enough. Um, let's, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and appoint her. Oh, you know what? We actually do need to find out what your sins are. She knows too much. And I've dropped them from satisfied to neutral. Knows too much. Person is rumored to affect ignorance. Alright. Well, you get to be the advisor. By our blood and sweat do we worship. Praise the Lord. Yes, praise our old God. Let's go to the Cadwells. Must we always eat fish? Motherfucker, look at the size of you. Look at the... You're eating more than half the fucking colt. Look at your family, dude. Look at how skinny this one is. And you're, you're bitching about fish. Y you know what? You'll be lucky if I don't fucking sacrifice everyone in your family to begin with. Alright. Begin inquiry. You know what? For that, let's find one of your, your children down here. This one. She's generous. It's a minor vice, though. Some of the rations are just too strict. Really? Really? Look at him! Look at him! How are the rations too strict? This motherfucker's the size of a... He's shaped like a bowling ball. <sighs> Swear to God, I haven't even gotten into one season yet, and trying to run a cult is just already a nightmare. Effersons. Come on. Vicar Efferson. Don't believe Blackborn lies. They are loyal only to themselves. Uh, there's something I need to know about here. Let's been a, begin an inquiry on... Bogdan. Bogan. Bogdan. Bogdan Efferson. Oh, you're a kleptomaniac. But you're disciplined. How the hell does that make sense? Like, oh yeah, I'm disciplined, but I steal shit. Come on. And the Blackborns, my zealots. The Blackborns control the guard. Oh, fuck, sorry. The Blackborns control the guardsmen of the village and interrogate rebels as needed. Um, the Eversons are the most devout followers of Chernabog, wielding whips and hearing confessions. The Cadwells are a family of miners and merchants. Cadwells are the wealthiest in the village. And Yusefkas are a hardy lot, ex excelling at carpentry and masonry, building great monuments to our lord. And then the Cagneys deal the book burning. We must root out more traitors. I agree. Um, our lowest stat right now is discipline. Is anybody here, you know, obedient? Disciplined? Uh, let's just look into you. Inquire about your virtue. Full of fervor. That's cool, but I don't need to worry about that. How about you? Inquire about virtue. You're penitent. Sins weigh on me like heavy stones. Um, let's take you. All right, so we have our five people. Begin season. A new month begins. So select one to three advisors. So if I pick down here, you can see the um, 
next to his name, it says Zealous, and then it says the four thumbs up. Yeah, that makes them really happy. Um, the more you pick, the more it changes that, and anyone who doesn't get picked, it goes down. So if you pick three, everybody goes up by two. If you pick one, the one goes up by four, two go up by three, and everyone you don't pick goes down a little bit. So satisfied, neutral, 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 satisfied. Let's... Uh, yeah. Okay, so we're going to pick you. Obedience plus 10. Penitence. Um, pick you. And the bonuses, um, the more people you pick, the less powerful the bonuses are. To begin with you two, um, you're violent, but you may know too much, and you're penitent, and we don't know what your vice is yet. Build monument. Hannah urged laborers in carving and sanding, and a small shrine to our god was crafted. Fervor plus five. Hannah roars through the night's fits in a temper. Fervor plus five. Hannah pulls the town on their thoughts about a library. Uh-oh. Katrina extracted an anonymous confession from a heretic, removing their tongue as penance. Good for you, Katrina. Katarina, sorry. Still learning names here. Katarina personally encourages more confessors to come forward. We don't know anything about her vice. So they move down, they move up, they move down, they move down. Up, they move up. All right. Your Excellency, a light has been seen in and Andre Blackborn's window long after sleeping hours have begun. They're accused of harboring one who reads forbidden text. Um, we shall inspect his room for evidence. We must inform House Blackborn so they must investigate. I shall punish those who waste my time with frivolous complaints. Discipline. Now we move on to April. Um, ignorance is hurting here. We'll go with you. And, um, I mean, bogged in luck, dude. You're gonna die. You've made my choice easy for me. Um, if I had the option, I'd just cut your fingers off. But our Lord Chernabog to come from his depths needs sacrifice. And we need to increase obedience. So we're just gonna go with this guy and bring him up. Ladalas, Ladalas, scoured the town and found one of the old world books to burn in a ritual fire. Ignorance plus ten. And sermons, his truth rings out clear as a glass bell. What the fuck did you do, Ladalas? Revises the code of laws with a new, more confusing interpretation. No! He's rebellious! If you were a better leader, I wouldn't have to rebel. Son of a bitch! Now I have to fix obedience. Your Excellency, please do not ally, ally with the Inquisitor. Though I love and fear him, he uses your name to enact cruelties upon the youngest of us, believing we cannot complain. This cannot be the Lord's will. Um... Let's spy on the Inquisitor. You never know who might be trying to take my seat as High Priest. Earn favor with Chernabog, our god. That brings our obedience back up to 15. We're down in May. Son of a bitch. Kleptomaniac and a rebel. Let's go with Katarina this time. Katarina interrogated townspeople. It seems a few parents conspired to hide children from our ritual. Sons of bitches. Katarina personally encourages more confessors to come forward. Thank you, Katarina. Still don't know anything about her vice, but I think it hurts our obedience. But the Inquisitors are my zealots, my true believers. They may not get sacrificed this time around. The season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect our village. The gathering convenes. Who will be the sacrifice this season? Uh, how about the rebel? 
Like, I don't even have to think about this. The villagers will be disturbed by his death and lose penitence. Motherfucker. Like, okay, first off, my penitence is super high because I run a fucking tight ship here in my cult. Second, uh, the dude's rebelling. Is this even, like, is this even up for debate? Like, okay, the other person's stealing, and I'll get to them later. This motherfucker is full-on rebellion. Uh, major vice, the villagers will be inspired to, cre to uh, greater obedience. And they will submit to my decision. You're goddamn right they will. He's a fucking rebel. Unless they want their whole family put down. We run this cult North Korea style. All right? 3F John suffers no fool. Sacri motherfucker. Sacrifice. Come with me, dude. Let me show you something. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Fuck you, rebel. Through sacrifice, thy will be done. We sacrifice the life of Latalos in the name of Chernabog and the good of our people. Our condolences to House Kegney. It was a just sacrifice, and they mourn their, their man to themselves. The villagers praise Chernabog for ridding their community of a blighted soul. Obedience up. Pen pen pestilence. Pestilence. Penitence down. The night before a new season, a whisper car caresses your dreams. My faithful servant, I await your devotion. Encourage penitence, deserve suffering for mortal sins. The thieving one, give him to me. Happily. The nights are pale and short-lived. And I have a new letter. Ladder. Letter. Eyes and ears. Oh, it's from my spy. Continues to spy on your behalf. He reports that the Inquisitor has taken a lover and exempts him from the usual laws, overlooking grave sins. However, Danik fears for his life if he gives you the lover's name. I can push him to give me the name. I can encourage ignorance. I can ask the Inquisitor about his lover. Well, the, the Inquisitors are my zealots. Um... I'll ask myself. The Inquisitor curtly admits to investigating the effects of sadistic tendencies and promises to write a full report. I lose a little bit of nothing there. They're still zealots. Alright. Kegney's? Ignorance is blessing, like shade from the summer sun. Well then, just you remain in ignorance about the fact that, you know, your house leader was a rebel. We cannot stand for that here. Let's see. Who should we look into? Let's look into the mother. Tell me about your vice. You're a weasel. And you hurt my penitence of my people. Tell me about your virtues. But you are obedient. How are you obedient and a weasel. Your family makes no damn sense. But it's a minor vice. And I'll make you my advisor. Who knows, maybe if you're lucky, I don't have to put you down. Yusefka has come out here. Violent and knows too much, so you hurt ignorance. Um, Let's see, let's see. You. Who are you? Undisciplined. Gluttonous. Well, we can live with that. Come on. Uh, Cadwells. The richy riches here. I mean, look at that motherfucker. Do come in and sit down. Yeah, because you probably can't be bothered to stand up, you fat fuck. Holy shit. Begin inquiries. Where's the thief? Oh, he must not be in this family. Um, Peter. Peter Cadwell. How are you feeling, my friend? You lack fervor. Maybe you'll take a nap. Oh, they're mad at me. Fair enough. Um, no napping on my council, Peter. The Effersons. Where are they? The kleptomaniac. You. I don't even have to look into you. Come here. Chernabog specifically asked for the thief, and so Chernabog will be given the thief. 
Um, all right, let's look into Blackborns, my zealots, my my inquisitors. Hmm. Wendelin. You're unrepentant. Nobody's perfect. You're unrepentant. You're... <sighs> Let me see. Miko, come here, please. You lack fervor. Miko, you're going to come with me. My spy. Let's begin our season. A new month begins. June. Alright, what do we need? We need ignorance. But you hurt penitence. You fuck penitence. So we can't use you. Gluttonous. Um, but you encourage fervor. Discipline. But you might hurt fervor. Fervor might be okay. Um... You're not obedient. But those balance out if I use all three of you. Peter Cadwell. Peter found a secret distillery, those fucking drunks, and destroyed it, preventing future distraction. <laughs> Peter is rumored, rumored to be penitent. Thank you, Jesus. Chernabog, shut up. You didn't hear that. Thank you, Chernabog. Peter personally encourages more confessors to come forward. Peter's vice. Eh, you notice Peter's ceremonies aren't as well attended as others. Excuse me. Um, well, that's that's not great. Got the sniffles, too. You're fucking with your high priest when he has the sniffles. Damn you all. You whip sinners. Bogdan dutifully whip the sinful, adhering to the rites of penitence. Chernabog, Chernabog's will guides the Bogdan. You didn't hear me pronounce his name wrong. I'm the goddamn high priest around here, not you, and I will pronounce his name however I feel. Thank you. Penitence plus four. Bogdan's virtue. Bogdan works extra hard, skipping many meals and evening leisures. Thank you, Bogdan. Company man. Bogdan's not obedient. Uh, sir rip sir rip <sighs> There's that word again. This fucking word. Bogdan donates a small hoard of stolen treasure to the church. Obedience, minus ten. Son of a bitch. Miko investigates heresy. That's because you're a spy. I like you, Miko. I'm I might not sacrifice you. You're you're a good man, Miko. Obedience plus three. Miko follows your every suggestion. Yes, he does. You notice Miko's ceremonies aren't as well attended as others. What is going on with the fervor of my people? Um, who's... Is anyone still dissatisfied with me? No one is. Of course they're not. Everyone loves me. I'm the greatest high priest ever in this cult. July. Um, okay. Not working with you. Ever. Bogdan. Oh, yeah, you're the one who hurt my obedience. Let's bring my obedience back up. Uh, let's bring my fervor up. And we'll just call that good for this month. Susan, who spells her name like a fool. Susan urged the laborers in carving and sanding, and a small shrine to our god was crafted. Good, it can go with the other ones. Susan is rumored to be ignorant. <laughs> You're rumored to be ignorant. I can't believe that's a rumor. Susan leads the village in memorizing scripture passages. Ignorance plus. Wait, what? She's rumored to be ignorant, but she can read. Okay, whatever. Susan lowers the monthly tax on sugars and meats. You, bitch. You pay your taxes to the church, to the high priest. Miko extracted an anonymous confession from a heretic. Removing their tongue as penance. You know what, Miko? You are on the fast track to becoming my right-hand man. Fast track. Miko's virtue. Miko follows your every suggestion. Yes, he does. His vice is he is not fervorous, but we will fix that. Next result. Uh, now I have to deal with the Catwells again. Look at that. 100%. The Blackborns. 
And here we are in August. All right, dude. I will I will bring you guys back up. Everything else except for fervor looks to be not doing great. Um Yeah. Suzanne, with the stupid spelling, forced the laborers to toil day and night, crafting a fine monument worthy of our god, Chernabog. Susan leads the village in memorizing scripture passages. We we know this. We've picked Susan a fucking billion times at this point. I can begin inquiries, but I don't feel the need to do that. Peter, 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 pumpkin eater. Peter seized forbidden desserts and fine cloth. <laughs> pumpkin eater. And fine cloth, ensuring steadfast focus on prayer. Peter personally encourages more confessors. Peter's not fervorous. I swear to God, if you guys can't stand up and shout what you actually believe in, I'm just going to assume that you don't actually believe it, and I'm going to start killing you. Peter, you're going to die anyways, but that's not important. Cadwells are about to be pissed off at me here in a moment. Oh, they went down. Oh, well. The season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect our village. Give me the klepto. Come here, dude. Where are you? Yeah, there you are. Yeah, um, we're going to lose a little bit of discipline. Uh, whoop de fucking do The major vice, they will be inspired to greater or obedience. That's fantastic. And yeah, his house is going to deal with it because he's a fucking thief. So, bye. Chernabog specifically asked for you. Don't take it personally. Bye, motherfucker. All right. One step closer to bringing our great old one back from his rest. Chernabog to save our people. We sacrifice the life of life. We sacrifice the life of Bogdan in the name of Chernabog and the good of our people. Uh, so his house isn't happy about it, but uh. Obedience is up, discipline is down. How can you be obedient and not dis disciplined? Can someone explain that to me? My most beloved, you struggle so pleasingly. Thanks. Encourage obedience, unfaltering spirit of law and order. The cowardly one, give him to me. All right. A new season begins. Contagion, spiritual contagions are spreading among the villagers, causing them to behave abnormally. I've decided to unseal the old tower to confine and purify the affected. No citizens are confined. So, encourage obedience. Find the cowardly one. Blackborns. Unrepentant, liking fervor, liking fervor, we don't know anything about you. Tell me about... Andre. Unrepentant? Uh, that's fine. Disobedient. Huh. Oh. Let me go ahead and get one of you. Um. Miko. You're up, buddy. You're a very well behaved little boy. Yes, you are, because you're obedient. Like a good zealot inquisitor would be. Oh, I got a letter. Inheritance. Miri Kegney. Miri Kegney arrives, her belly swollen with child. How old are you? She is worried the child may turn out like her with all of her sins and flaws and wants your advice. We can give the child to the Vicar. All parents are sinners, still we strive. Ask if she has something in particular to repent. Mary is too embarrassed to speak about it, but hurries to the confessional afterwards. Perhaps others will learn from her regrets. Mary, come here, please. Acting strangely. Confine this villager in a vault to prevent the spread of this contagion to cure her through purification. Bye. Alright, I need to find the coward. Valen, come here, please. Knows too much. You're not cowardly. Uh, oh. Yeah, your family's probably not happy with me at the moment. Oh, crap. I need to pick one of you. 
knows too much hurts ignorance, but this is the house of ignorance, so maybe it balances out. Appoint advisor. Uh, you came to me. Let's see what you have to do. Yusefka estate. Acting strangely. Bye. Um, let's see. We need to find the coward. The coward. Oh, that's not even a big sin. What about you, Ludmilla? Unrepentant. <sighs> come on, you, the violent little one. You come with me. Um, Cadwells. Cadwells knows too much, knows too much. Generous, unrepentant, undisciplined, lacking fervor. Which one of you is the fucking coward? Lacking fervor. Alright. Um, you all suck with this. What is my highest skill? It's penitence this time? Well, let's get someone who's unrepentant then. And hopefully it's just not that big of a deal. Oh, yeah. Wait, did I get him? No mercy to sinners, your excellency. Yeah, well, your fucking speaker over here is the size of a truck, so obviously he's breaking some rule. Efferson's come here. Our punishments always fit the crime. Yeah, that's why I killed the head of your family. For being a thief. Begin inquiry. Where is the coward? Disobedient. I don't have any more... Okay. Um... As a child, Savante lost his tongue, and he communicates with signs. Uh, you, at least you can't annoy me for a whole season. Alright, let's look at our tower. Susan once challenged Lord Caldwell to a cruel eating competition, and won. As a child, Nadia once tricked her brother into taking her lashes for her. Nadia, you are a weasel. We do not fully understand what ails Nadia. Examining her will help us understand her contagion. Purifying her may cure her affliction or cause unexpected results. Say hello to my family for me. Examining. Okay. Um. Purify this one. Down you go. Baptized in what I can only assume is piss, shit, and acid. Bye-bye. You gluttonous little fuck. The tower is now unsealed. Oh, okay. Let's begin our season. Select one to three advisors. Alright. Penitences are bad stuff, so... We need discipline. We need fervor. We need to encourage obedience. Hannah urged the laborers in carving and sanding. Fervor plus three. Hannah roars through the night like the violent little bitch she is. Fervor plus three. It's the young ones in my cult, man. The young ones want to see Chernabog come back. It's the old people who, they've been around for too long and the herd just needs a little thinning. Hannah pulls the town on their thoughts about a library. You bitch. Makes you think you're allowed to read my cult. Demos sees forbidden deserts and deserts. <laughs> Desserts. Yes, he sees the desert. I would I would let you become high priest tomorrow if you could seize a desert. He sees the dessert. Three I've drawn, you fucking moron. And he's full of fervor, that helps. But he's just not penitent. When asked about his sins, he shrugs and changes the subject. Oh, you're just stubborn. Nah, you, we can live with a stubborn asshole. So, Miko chased rumors and uh, whispers but found no evidence of infidels. Miko, you're disappointing me, my friend. Miko follows your every suggestion. Obedience up. And you still have no fervor in your ceremonies. What are you? A limp-dicked little bitch? Come on. 
He'll get it. I need to fix the Efferson families who are pissed off at me. Strange Inheritance. Miri has had her child, a healthy girl. She follows your advice and keeps it, but discovers the girl has strange fish-like gills. She confesses with bloodshot eyes that she and the child's father may have conceived the child in the sea. Is this a sin? Not at all. Not at all. Our great Lord Chernabog comes from the sea. He has blessed your family. So we get her approval to go up by 10 points. October. Holy shit, she had a kid with fucking gills. What do we do about that? Um, okay. I gotta fix this family. You're penitent. Oh, let's just hope that you don't damage anything too badly. Dutifully whipped the sinful, adhering to the rights of penitence. Plus ten. We don't know what your virtue did, but your vice destroyed our fervor. You son of a bitch. What is your fucking deal? You're gentle. Gentle. <sighs> what is the deal with you people? Dark Materials. The Efferson boy is approaching me. Savante arrives on behalf of House Everson, asking for additional funding for repairing their whips. There are many penitent that need punishment, but where should that money come from? Um, hmm. Let's see. Budget for Gold Inc. They won't like it. Cadwells won't like it. Kengi won't like the budget for Cabbage. And our penitents might suffer, but will that affect my... <sighs> Look, my penitence is high, man. You figure your own shit out. He leaves in a huff, and we... The cries of the suffering grow silent, and the village takes an air of a... Or takes on a jovial air for a time. I can fix that. It's not obviously not that damn jovial. Holy shit. So I lost approval with them the moment after I tried to fix it. Uh, fervor. Is anyone else fervor? Yes, you are. Uh, we'll go with you. I still don't know who the problem is. That's too much, knows too much. Stubborn, gentle, lacking fervor. Hannah urged laborers in carving and sanding and adds a small shrine to our god. Fervor's up plus ten. Fervor's an up plus another ten. But our ignorance has been damaged. And we are playing a dangerous game with three of our families here. The season's end draws near and a sacrifice must be made to protect our village. Who do I take? Two people who hurt my ignorance... The stubborn one, the gentle one, lacking fervor. Oh, Miko, Miko, you're you're my zealot and my spy. I can't hurt you. We here in the cult of Chernabog on our island. It is unfortunate but true. We have no place. For gentleness. They will be outraged. We will lose penitence, but we will encourage fervor. Bye, motherfucker. That's what we do to the gentle here. We drag them up and we stab them through the heart. So says Chernabog. We sacrifice the life of Savante in the name of Chernabog and the good of our people. Oh, they're mad. Oh, House Everson is pissed. The villagers speak of Savante as a holy martyr. So we've lost penitence. But, uh, Everson's pissed, yeah. The village is growing too curious about the outside world. I must turn to their ignorance before the end of the season. And they're defying my authority. Hmm. Hyperactive. That's your problem? 
You're hyperactive. All right. I'll handle them in just a moment. Cagneys have come. The cows grow sick no matter what they say. Um, they're neutral with me. I suspect Maria might be illiterate. Spoiled brat for a daughter who begs for sweets. Has a well-trained pet Labrador retriever. Fairly good chef and swears by her father's cookbook. Takes notes at meetings. Okay. None of you guys sound like the coward. Blushes easily, much to everyone's amusement. Speaks only in simple sentences and short words. I like people like that. Can't seem to keep her voice down. Practices martial arts on the clifftops. Hmm. Soft and soothing voice. Fell from the cliffs as a child and suffered brain damage. Laszlo wakes up at long after everyone has finished breakfast. Lazy fuck. Doesn't mean he's a coward. Obsesses about scripture. Has the worst memory. Tried to commit suicide in the past, but it's been some years since the last incident. Talented doodler as a child. Well, it's better to be a talented doodler as a child than a talented diddler of children. So, uh, good on you, I guess, Nikolai. Uses his free time to reread. <sighs> Where's my coward? It's called The Advocate as a Child for Arguing with Her Parents and Siblings. That doesn't sound like a coward. Finds everything funny. Very bright child. Small cuts and scars. Very behaved little boy. I get no complaints about this one. Um, who is the coward? Courage, obedience. Find the cowardly one. I gotta fix ignorant. I gotta fix the Eversons. Always a pleasure. Okay. Um. Oh, man, this sucks. But I'm gonna have to go with one of you. It's gonna hurt my obedience, but whatever. Uh, the Blackborns. Tell me about your vice. You're lazy. Miko. Miko. Laziness? <sighs> come on. I'll make something out of you yet. Cadwells, come here. Um, begin an inquiry. Generous, knows too much, knows too much. Discipline, lacking fervor, lacking fervor, undisciplined. Hey, lazy ass, come here. Slovenly. It's unfortunate for you that your high priest doesn't know what that word means. <laughs> um, my ignorance needs no help. Okay. Um, my, pen my penitence is good. Come here. I'm going to take Timos. Yusefka's. Let's begin an inquiry. Knows too much, knows too much. Undisciplined, unrepentant. Casimir. Casimir is an embezzler. Are you fucking kidding me? Why is everyone stealing? Casimir, come here. Oh, the hyperactive one. I forgot about her. Sorry. Let's see. Let's visit. Purification was a success. We've cured Susan. Examination will reveal something about Susan. Purification will improve her virtue or cause unexpected results. Um, five answers on the board. Show me purify. There we go. Back into the piss shit water for you. Also known as the vat of Budweiser. Uh, Nadia. We've discovered it. We can purify it. Good. Nadia. You also go into the vat of Budweiser. Dilly dilly, motherfucker. Uh, Cagnes, come here. Who is good at what you do? You. You're good with ignorance? Superstitious, yes. I like you. I like you. You. Come with me, Maria. Begin season. Five years remaining, still in the winter. 
Oh, man. You, you're going to work with me. And you are going to work with me. And we're just going to run this. Maria discovered a cache of old world books and burned them in the town square. Thank you, Maria. Foretells good fortune and reads good omens everywhere. And then you hurt my discipline. Damn you, Maria. You're a pervert. Are you... What is wrong with you people? Okay, whip the sinful. Yeah, your vice is hurting my obedience. Thank you for that. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, your virtue, though, helps my ignorance. And now they're dissatisfied. Hooray. Fantastic. Inquisitor Blackborn reports that an outsider has washed ashore. The village wants to throw him back into the ocean. But you wonder if his arrival is more than coincidence. Courage is ignorance. Interrogate him. Ask them to watch him. Hmm. Let's interrogate him. Reports that the outsider said he came from an island of bone before he died. But we got approval. We are fucking hurting here. Boom, boom, boom. We need to fix all of this. Yeah, whip the centers, blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck, by using her, she hurts my obedience. You are making my life difficult, people. <sighs> the spirits tell me you are cursed to misfortune, but do not despair. Show favor to House Kedwell to escape this doom. <sighs> fuck off. Haunted, lacking fervor. All right. I swear to God, you people. Can we please? I mean, my ignorance is falling as well. What the hell, guys? Yeah, burn burn the books, all that good stuff. Oh my god, my discipline is going to shit. Um Yeah, whip the sinful, but you guys don't know obedience and smacked you upside your fucking head. And we get the Chernobog's will. Guides Miko. Miko, thank you, but you're hurting my fervor. My discipline and my obedience are very, very badly suffering. And the season's end draws near. A sacrifice must be made to protect the village. Where's the pervert? The superstitious, plus 15. Embezzler. Pervert, embezzler. Pervert, embezzler. Thief? No, uh, they will feel conflicted and lose obedience. Oh, crap. But it'll fix the discipline. Um, and they will lose ignorance. That's fantastic. But they'll get greater discipline. Hmm. You know what? Kill the diddler. Hey, don't be a pervert. We have no place for that here. Come on. Swear to God. Swear to God, running a cult is supposed to be easier than this. David Koresh could do it. All, all of the, 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 you know, cult of the yellow sign, and I, I don't understand you people. Why can't you guys just not be perverts? The village has failed repeatedly to demonstrate ignorance. Inquisitor's pet. The village rejects ignorance, your dream of darkness never ending. 
never again waking. I just lost. Survived one year. I killed four people. Um, I sacrificed three major centers. I killed a lot of people from Kegney. And I discovered 16 of 60 traits. Um, okay. So, um, I may play another another game of the Shrouded Isle next week. Um, we've already been going for about 45 minutes here. 45 to 50 minutes. Um, next time, your high priest won't fail. Next time, we will punish and sacrifice the sinners to our, our great old one, Chernabog. And we will bring his wrath upon all the non-believers and blasphemers and sinners, perverts and bezzlers. You name it, next time our cult will succeed. So, um, next week, I might play a little bit more Shrouded Isle, or I might release um, a bonus video on it this week. I also have a game that is supposedly inspired, and I say supposedly because I haven't got a chance to play it yet, but it is supposedly inspired by At the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft. It's a first-person um, adventure horror game. And I haven't got a chance to play it yet. I bought that game and this game at the same time. So we will find out if it is true to form and truly inspired by the work of Lovecraft or if it's just another game that puts his name on something and in reality has absolutely nothing to do with it. So that may be next week's video. That may be this week's bonus video. Um, it just kind of depends on how the stars align. So until next time, this has been your favorite madman and deranged cultist, 3F John, and I'll see you in our next video.